Hello. Jumbo thumbtacks. So I did another one this size earlier, <clears throat> but the internet isn't good enough in my studio. And it was buffering for all of you for some of it. I was actually live for an hour and a half and didn't even know it. That it was buffering or it wasn't recording. So I gotta get this in here so that it's up off the table so I can clean up my drips. And so air can get underneath it. Ty said I should tell you guys what I'm doing as I'm doing it, so that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> just pre-recording this video and then I can be in chat with you guys and I'll premiere it. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to work on if you want to come on a live and I can paint I guess from in the house if you can come on a live I can record it and or actually have uh, mess on messenger if you're friends with me on Facebook I'll create a messenger group and you guys can call in and your voices will be heard on live I just have to get a new router so I got this metallic blue that I mixed up for before it's extreme sheen and flow trawl which you buy at Lowe's it's a paint um, extender is what it's called. It's really good. If you can get the Australian version, that's cool too because it's better. But you can also use Elmer's school glue and 20% water, 80% school glue. That'll make a good pouring medium and you just add any acrylic paint to it. And add water slowly to get it all the same consistency. That way it doesn't float or sink. I'm just going to add, and I have, the, this is what this is, ready. It's ready mix. You don't have to do anything. You just mix. Or shake it up and pour it. That's all you got to do on this. So that's that. Same thing. Same consistency for the most part. If it's thinner, it'll rise to the top. If it's thicker, it'll sink to the bottom and you won't see it. Ready mixed pouring paint. I love this color. This is going to be relatively quick because I actually have all my stuff ready to go because I painted two paintings already. So this is Deco Art ready to pour in pearl, metallic pearl. And play around with this. I don't know the consistency yet. Oh, it's pretty thick. Okay. Because it's pretty thick, just a smaller container of flow trawl that I have that I keep out because otherwise it comes in a gallon. And oh, that was a bit clumpy, lumpy. That's the other thing you gotta watch. Where is it? There's a big clumpy, lumpy thing in there. Oh, there it is. It's called a booger. Well, let me get it. The booger. And I'm pretty sure I got it. Good. 
Okay, I got the booger out. It's right there. It's a nice, I don't know if the camera can see that. It's a nice pearl color. And I can add more mica pigments if I wanted to. It's it's pretty close to the same consistency. We'll call it good. And deco art. Ready to pour. This is metallic gold. because it's a little thick okay it's good if anything I want the gold to be lighter more thin so it comes to the top because I hate wasting gold sometimes gold because the metallic uh, pigments are darker so are white so um, they're heavier so they sink so sometimes you can't see them. I'm gonna put some water in here too. Yeah, see, that's just too thick. It won't even drip. Put some water in there. Just distilled water, bottled water. You know what? I'm gonna get a little bit of stick. Okay. Yeah, this stirs better anyway. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Much better. Okay. Let's just double check this because I used this crappy stick. Well, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I would like to be able to go live from the studio. I'm going to work on that. Um, maybe have my son see if he can get the router booster working properly. Okay. We got six colors. Six colors. Uh, two or three are metallic. Three are not metallic. That's going to help with an even context of the painting so that it's not all metallic and it's not all opaque. So this is a color wheel. If you want to have red, wait let's throw aside, okay so these are colors that are adjacent will work well together. So purple that green and that green work well together. But any of these colors will not work well together. They will blend and they will turn to mud. So using this, it costs $3 from Michaels. If you play with paint, you need it because you can't let colors touch each other that aren't supposed to. Or it'll turn to mud. And ugly gray or ugly brown. And that goes against everything because so if you do happen to have two colors that are not supposed to be together in the same painting you're going to want to do a layer of white or black 
Don't do black and white because it'll turn to gray mud. So, I am just going to use this white right out of the bottle. Not very much of it because I don't want it to take over. I want the pearl to show. Okay. Here goes nothing. All right. Let's do... Okay, the blue and the green are allowed to touch. Okay? But the green, the aqua, can't touch the gold, well, can't touch the purple, light purple, because it'll turn to a weird brown. So I'm going to put a white pearl in the middle, so that blends in with the turquoise. Put quite a bit. And then I'm going to come in with the, go light to dark, light to dark, light to dark. So... Do the ooh, actually no, that'll come out pink. Let's do the purple. And then we'll do the dark. Magenta. So that it doesn't look pink and it looks more burgundy. Or purple. Yeah, it'll look more purple. Okay. And then gold. Oops. I'm gonna have to make more gold. And we're gonna do one more layer. Sometimes turquoise can take over a painting. Just a warning. Also, if you put blue and yellow next to each other, you're going to get green no matter what you do, unless you have something in the way from them touching. So, let's see. Do, do, do. And then last, don't worry about drips or anything. Drips happen. This is it. This is an art where you waste paint like crazy. And I filled that really, really full. Okay. Okay, we're just going to do that. We're going to move our other cups out of the way. I'm going to jack up my sleeves here. You out of the way. You out of the way. Get all this stuff out of the way. Okay. barely used any white, so whatever. It is what it is. Alright, we're not using white this time. I didn't 
Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got my layered cup really, really full. Take this, hold it on there, flip it upside down. Just keep control of it so it doesn't escape. And boom, I'm in. build another cup. I should just use that whole thing. I try not to waste paint, but it's kind of a moot point with what I do because you'll see how much is wasted, but it is only paint and water and something that cost me 12 bucks a gallon flow trawl. So, you know, I go through a lot of it, but I do a lot of painting, so. I'll be going live tomorrow doing resin, which is a lot more fun. So I'm gonna go backwards in the rotation so I'm going to go from blue, then I'm going to do the gold. No, there's not a lot of gold left, but... So if everything works out well, I will be in chat with you guys. So let me know if anybody's not friends with me on Facebook. I'm Wings Wings Wings. And I have my Shopify account. And I will have a private sellers group as well that I'm launching in the next couple of days. And that'll be fun. So that'll be like uh, everything I make on here and I've made in the last three years that I have for sale. I'll be posting on there. Uh, we're doing this room. And then light purple. I think I got them all. <clears throat> well, I'm just going to take the stick that I had from here. I'm just going to do one, two, three. Just little swirls. And I'm going to use that to do a ribbon over the top of it. This has been upside down for quite some time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it like this. Here we go. Try to make it so my shadow doesn't get in the way. There we go.
Mm -mm -mm. Now, see what's going on over here? It's all, because I flicked it that way, it's all trying to run. It looks like an octopus. So, I'm going to pull it back down. as slow as you can muster. So I'm just stretching it out to the edge, just before the edge of the canvas, and then I'm going to pull it back to the center. And this is where the magic happens. So once all my paint's in the center, ooh, those look like hearts. I'm going to do the same thing and return it to the center. Okay, and on this end, well, let's see. Well, I've been doing it in a rotation like this. Yeah, I'm going to keep going down to this side because I kind of like all these colors over here. Turn it to center, okay? Okay, all the paint's still on the canvas. And it's really, really pretty. So we have to decide what parts we like best. And we're going to fill in these corners. Now, it won't matter so much what colors we use for this. You can use old paint even because this is just to get the paint moving off the side of the canvas. Just to get it dripping and have enough liquid to move. It'll pull it. And making sure our corners are covered. Okay. That is that. I'll see the rest of this. Sometimes you can get some neat effects too. We just want to make sure some paint gets on this. He said, doesn't really matter what color, because you likely won't see it anyway, unless you have some cell activator in the paint, which I really don't, other than a little flow trouble. And sure, I'm gonna probably do it.
Okay. I didn't even need that second cup of paint, so I'll just do a smaller piece. All right. So, you see, as it sits and relaxes, little gems start to pop out of it. Here's what I'm going to do. It's going to get loud for a second. This is just an embossing heat gun. Okay. I'm going to just turn it on and I'm going to pop, go through and pop my bubbles. There's lots of bubbles in here and this is going to make little cells pop out all over the place. Okay, I don't, I just want to get all the bigger bubbles and it's the heat rather than the air that gets them all out. I understand you can huff and puff and blow them out with a straw, but I'm not interested in all that. Okay, now we got to move some of this paint off of the canvas. Got to get it off. Got to get a nice thin layer. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get a feel for where most of my paint is. I feel like most of my paint's probably close to the middle right now. I'm going off the side. Here I go. And people say do it slow. I'm sorry. I'm a quick, I'm a quick tilt, and then bring it back, return it to center, and then go down the other side until your paint gets off. If there's something you don't like in your painting, you can scoot it off by this doing this strategically. Um, wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just going down this side and it's going to get all over my gloves. I go through gloves like crazy and then I'm going to return it back to the center so I don't lose that shape. Okay, and this is coming out very nice. And once it goes over the edge, bring it back. And I have a feeling Blade's really going to want this one. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. That came out really nice. Okay. So I'm just gingerly going to drop it. Make sure all my sides are covered, and they are. Well, that's shocking. Typically doesn't happen like that. Well, I really like this the way it is. I don't really want to do much to this. Let me just see, double check that the sides are covered over here. They are. Wow. That's not how my luck works. So that was just the perfect amount of paint. Now, now to make little adjustments. So, I have a dental pick. This is wet, called wet embellishment. I'm going to change what you see while it's wet. So this right here is going to kind of make it into a little swirl. This right here, kind of don't, don't know where that came from, so we're just going to make it work into the pattern. Okay. Hmm. Just a little bald spot on the canvas. This is really pretty. I don't really need to do much to this. Here, I'm going to grab some of this. I'm just going to put it right over the top so it flows out. Same thing with this. Why is that even there? It's 
So I'm presuming that was a drip or something that happened. So maybe I'll move it out just a little bit. No, no, I'm gonna leave it just like it is. I can't tell if it's moving. I like it just like it is. It's the most colorful thing I've ever painted. It's really colorful. Now that gold looks yellow. Oh no, it looks gold. Okay. I'm really pleased with this. Hard to believe. I'm pleased with a piece. Okay, my goal is to make this look like somewhat of a flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down in the fold. I'm going to meet everything right there. Down in the gold, meet everything right there. Down in the gold, right there. 